Hi, Brantford. Pastor Mark here from Brant Naz, Brantford Church of the Nazarene. I'm presently greeting you today from Queenston Heights, Ontario, midway between Niagara Falls, Ontario, and Niagara on the Lake. Normally, during this time of take a break, I answer questions of yours related to the Christian faith or to the Bible that you've sent to me. But being that this is December 1st, the month of Christmas, I'm going to change things up a bit. Instead of answering a question, I'm going to make some comments on faith on uh, Advent season, and I'll explain that in a second. But as I'm here along at Queenston Heights, it's right along the Niagara Scenic Parkway. It's a beautiful drive to take it at any time of the year, but especially in the summer and fall. But now that there's not much snow on the ground now, but there was some, and we've had the snow now that we're starting in the, in the, the, the winter months. We're thinking of Christmas, especially coming up in the next three or so weeks. So I'm going to focus on Advent. Advent is a celebration that we have in the church where, whereby we, we anticipate Advent means coming. We anticipate the coming of Jesus, his first coming and his birth. It's a Latin word, which is a language that was primarily used in the Catholic Church when Advent was started in the church, and many churches carried on as a tradition now. Typically at Advent, every week has a different theme to it. The first week would be a hope, the next week would be uh, peace, and there's joy, and there's love that we have, and we're going to focus on those. And the church often sets out an Advent, what they call an Advent wreath, they put the four colored candles around it for that hope, peace, love, joy that they have there. And there's a white Christ candle in the middle. The white Christ candle is lit on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, depending on when the service is held. But for the next uh, few weeks, I'm going to focus on each aspect of that, of whatever week we're in. And this is the week of hope, so I just wanted to make a, a few brief comments about hope. There's kind of two kinds of hope that we have. We have a hope that's kind of a, a wishful thinking, a uh, 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 wish like you throw a coin into a fountain or blow out the birthday cake candles and you make a wish. It's kind of something you don't expect to come true. I can remember when I was a preteen particularly, uh, at that age, I the Sears catalog, Christmas catalog, winter catalog would come in, or the Canadian Tire catalog, and I would spend some time going through it looking at the hockey equipment because I had a wish, I had a hope that I could get some hockey equipment. Now, there was about as much chance of me getting that hockey equipment as the Toronto Bay Police winning the Stanley Cup and me being able to watch it. So you know what chance I had of um, getting that hockey equipment. Well, that's the one kind of a wish where you, or you hope you have. You, you put your hope in things. But the kind of hope I want to talk to us just briefly about today is the kind of hope that we get through Jesus Christ. As we anticipate his first coming, Advent is a time to prepare for his second coming as well. And we have a hope in Jesus Christ. We're told to be prepared to give an answer for the hope that we have. Now, the reason the reason Jesus' hope is different is because it's based on something already completed. What he did on the cross and through his resurrection and ascension into heaven, he already assured us that we could come to a restored relationship with God the Father. And so our hope in him is a trust, it's an assurance, it's something that we can depend on as we do that. So as we enter into the Christmas season, place your hope in him, trust in him, uh, follow, fo follow him and have true genuine hope that even though uh, circumstantial hope depends on the circumstances around us. But the dependence of the hope that we put on Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter what the storm is that we face around us we can have that assurance of hope that we have in him. So this Christmas season, let it be a season of hope. And I look forward to talking to you next week again as well about the other aspects of the, the love, joy, and peace that we can have. But just in closing, I'm just going to say to us, may the God of hope fill you as you follow him so that you may abound in peace, have all peace and joy, and that you may have hope in abundance that you may have hope that overflows by the holy spirit so thanks again for joining me this week and we'll look forward to seeing you next week to look at the peace that we can have and uh that the bible talks about the peace in our second sunday of advent but i would encourage you join me every week for this uh, take a break time with myself or you can join us on sunday mornings either live in person at 347 fairview drive in brantford or online at, at the same time as Sunday morning at 1030 right here on Facebook Live. We stream our services live. So look forward to seeing you either Sunday or next week, whether it be in person or online. Thanks a lot.